Good morning, you guys. So I got awoken by crew scheduling at like 6.15, 6.15 this morning, because today we are gonna be doing a brand new international layover. We are actually gonna be going to Narita. I am just like, it's crazy to me. I actually picked up a different international trip and then I put it into our company trade board. It's called TTS and I was able to trade it into this. So wild. But basically they called to say that our flight is an hour delayed and they pushed the sign in time back an hour. But I already started getting ready for this trip last night because I just wanted to be ahead of it. So I packed all my bags last night. I also showered. My hair's looking all, all thick today. Um, I put in the way the volume spray but i washed it last night with the way thick hair shampoo and conditioner and i also want to thank way for sponsoring today's video so last night after i washed it i put in the volume spray just to give it some extra volume i also put in my leave-in conditioner this stuff is a tried and true i am obsessed this is like one of their best sellers and it's so good it's so good i like to just spray it and focus it on the ends but also because it's going to be a little bit humid today it's just that time of the year like springtime is just humid it's like what's that say april showers bring my flowers and my hair hates it it becomes one giant frizzy mess just a huge mess so i ended up adding in the way anti frizz cream so i add this in whenever my hair is damp and just like put it all through and i like focus it on the ends and then bring it up to the top just so it kind of like gives me more more frizz protection at the top and then i just blew out my hair just so it would be easier to straighten today so i didn't have to like mess through like all the curls and everything else but all of way's products smell just incredible they smell so good the anti frizz cream it's supposed to be like a Sydney North Bondi Beach inspired smell and oh it's just so darn good but the anti frizz cream is supposed to protect your hair from frizz for up to 72 hours and it also protects against heat up to 450 degrees but besides just the amazing hair care products that way has their perfumes are also so darn good when I went to go visit Allie I actually brought her a few products from them I know I talked about it in the video I don't remember exactly which ones but I know it's the ones she asked for but one of the ones I brought her was this perfume so it's the way Mel Rose place so I brought her one of those and it just smells so good but also the packaging is stunning it has like a magnetic closure i feel like this is just like the perfect gift or just obviously for yourself but i'm gonna end up um spraying my uniform just a little bit i feel like the scent is is very light and just this one's kind of like floral, but like sweet, but not overwhelming because when you're on an airplane, you do not want like a strong perfume scent. Otherwise it's just gonna make people like sick and nauseous. So I really like something like light and delicate and nothing like too crazy. All right, you guys, so look how shiny and just healthy my hair looks. It looks all sleek and just so good. But if you want to frizz free up your schedule with Way, go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com slash Kat Nesbitt and you'll get 15% off any product, whether it's one of the ones that I talked about that I love or just something from Way. And again, that is T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com slash Kat Nesbitt. Once again, thank you to Way for sponsoring today's video. Now, since I have like an extra hour, I'm probably gonna make some breakfast as well as I'm gonna do my lashes and then I guess we're gonna head out of here. Welcome to Tokyo, Japan. So I made a mistake um, and I didn't realize it until I got to the employee lot at the airport, but I was such in a rush towards the end that I did not grab my jacket. So I have no jacket. I only have short sleeves here, which I have a tattoo sleeve and tattoos are not seen the same in Japan as they are in the States. So that sucks, um, but we're just gonna have to make do. So I'm actually in a little bit of a hurry because I'm meeting another flight attendant downstairs in like 10 minutes and we're gonna go 
out for hot pot, which I'm super excited. It's been a while since I've had hot pot, um, but I'm gonna show you the room really fast, get dressed, and then I guess we're gonna get out of here. So the room is nice and quaint. There's some kind of like shoes down here, a place to put the luggage. I don't know exactly, some kind of steamer, um, place to hang the uniform. And then this is the bedroom. And then we have the bath. Let's see. So here's our cute little bathroom. So there's no mirror on looking the bedroom like there was in Haneda. And then do we have a view? Oh, she's cute. All the way from right here, I can immediately see that's not gonna do. Let's go ahead, we'll do right there. back and look what I noticed. I think these are robes like laid out nicely on the bed. So I don't know how flattering this angle is. I feel like you're gonna get a straight shot up my nose and my double chin, but we're just gonna make it work. But um, we took a taxi over to a local mall and the hot pot place was inside the mall as well as the grocery store. So we did hot pot and it was so good. It was like all you can eat hot pot. They had like sushi as well. Super good. So we ate there and then after that we decided to do a little bit of shopping, but we didn't have so much time. So it was more like window shopping, but I did want to pick up a sweater because like I said, I forgot my jacket and I don't know how cold it's going to be in the morning, but also just kind of out of common courtesy for the culture. I'm gonna cover up the tattoos. But then on the way back, we were gonna take the bus, but I think it's like the last bus of the night and the line was so incredibly long. So instead of that, we ended up taking another taxi, which was a solid move. I feel like that was a smart thing to do and came back over and near the hotel is like a family mart, which is kind of like a 7-Eleven. So I just decided to like run in there and just, just do a little shopping, shopping. I got this unsweetened green tea. I'm probably gonna have this tonight. And then I also picked up a good old egg salad sandwich. These are like my favorite. They also had um, the cream and strawberry one, but they had it along with red bean paste. And I was this close to picking it up. I might still go back and get it tomorrow, but to go along with this, I also picked up these, which you guys might think it's a little bit weird, but on the way to the hotel, one of my crew members had cherry tomatoes. I'm pretty sure they purchased them like in the airport because they were like vegetable like vendors that were just selling like fresh vegetables vegetables inside the Narita airport and they were the best cherry tomatoes I've ever had in my entire life hands down they were so good so I don't know if these are gonna be the same but just in case I picked up a thing of cherry tomatoes I swear it's so good I, I never would have thought that I also picked up these strawberry milk bread and then this one I believe is like a milk bread but it says with custard cream and whipped cream I also picked up two of these I'm pretty sure I had these as well um, last time I was in Tokyo and they were really good so it's like a cafe latte but it's non-sweet. Thomas, the flight attendant that like let us go to Hot Pot with him and he kind of like showed us the ropes and like the mall and the taxi and all that stuff. Well, um, I was talking to him about tea and how I had gotten green tea last time I was here. And like within like a week or two, I drank the entire box. It was so good. Well, he was saying that we needed to try this roasted rice tea with matcha and it looks like this. So I'm super excited to try that out. I picked up these cute little phone charms. So I have like this cute little cat as well as a cherry blossom because it is cherry blossom season right now. I've already seen some of the cherry blossom trees. They are gorgeous, but I grabbed these for my aunt because she loves these little phone charms. And whenever she saw my last Tokyo video, she was like, oh my gosh, it had me in tears. Like I miss it so much. Cause like I told you guys before, like my dad grew up in Tokyo. So it was really cool when we got to not 
Round Rev out here and, and I got to see it alongside him. It was like a super special experience. This was the sweater I got. I got it a large because I never know how Asian sizes are gonna run because normally they're much smaller than US sizes, but also I, I like a good, I like a good oversized fit. So I just grabbed a large and it looks like this, just a plain, um, black black sweater that I'll rock tomorrow and then last but not least at the same place that I got the sweater I ended up picking up these matcha chocolate coated strawberries but one last thing I need to tell you guys is that I got a text message from Desiree she was um, another one of the flight attendants that came out to dinner with us she said we are delayed tomorrow and I said how long and she said about three hours I guess that gives us more time tomorrow to kind of like play around and like rest and all that because I think our original pickup time was like 450 I believe like somewhere around that so I'm guessing it's gonna be like closer to eight o'clock now so I guess I will keep you updated once I know more but I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed I am exhausted and I have a very exciting day for us playing tomorrow with I guess an extra three hours now so I will see you guys bright and early in the morning night Good morning, you guys. I'm looking a little bit rough, but um, I slept for quite a bit. I think I went to bed at like 9.30 and slept until 5. But I was texting back and forth last night before I went to bed with Thomas and Desiree. So they were the two that I did hot pot with yesterday. And um, Thomas said that he was going to be willing to take us around town to go see stuff. I'm super excited about that because I feel like he knows so so much around here so there is a temple nearby that i was planning to go see and i think we're still gonna see that so the plan is to meet downstairs at 8 20 and there's a bus at 8 25 that will bus you out it like stops at the temple but it will also stop at like where the mall area is because the difference between like narita and haneda is haneda is like more downtown it's like more where when you think tokyo and you see all the lights and kind of like that new york time style like that's more haneda whereas narita is like more of like a small town like like more like rice fields and villages and Narita is a little bit more slower paced a little bit more like mellow and like Haneda is like more like happening and like tons of stuff and all that so I'm super excited I did not shake this I don't know if I was supposed to and then we're gonna open the cherry tomatoes and see if they taste the same look how big this one is <laughs> mm-hmm mm-hmm I don't know what it is are so good. The ones I had yesterday though, a little bit better, but these are really good. And I'll be honest, I'm not usually the kind of person that just pops cherry tomatoes like this. Like I don't normally eat them like this. I'll eat them in like a salad or or with something, you know? They're really good. And then, of course, I'm gonna have my egg salad sandwich. I kind of feel like we're gonna be doing breakfast this morning, so I don't wanna eat too terribly much, but like I woke up hungry. <laughs> well, look at that. So yummy. Mm -hmm. But I kind of feel like eggs and tomato like go really well together. You see a lot of dishes with the two. I might save the other half and then the rest of the tomatoes. Those blackout curtains be blacking everything out. It was so dark. Like I didn't see even a hint of sun in this room. But also anytime I film like something <laughs> Anytime I film something like this, I immediately think like, oh, I hope I don't have like a big old wedgie, right? <laughs> oh, anyways, it's time to finally start getting ready. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I haven't decided like how much makeup to, to put on my face. Cause like I want to do enough that like if I take a photo, you know, if I want to be that girl, but also like we might have time to a nap today. And so it's a little bit silly to do a full face of makeup to take it off our nap to then do it again. So I haven't made up my mind. Maybe while I do my skincare, I'll kind of figure it out. All right, you guys, I was just gonna do light makeup, but like <laughs> every, time, every time I try, I'm just like, okay, just a little bit of this and just a little bit of this and just a little bit of this. And then next thing you know, I got a full face of makeup, but I got my new sweater on. I'm all ready and we need to head downstairs and I guess we're gonna get out of here.
You guys, I went shopping, shopping, and I thought I bought a lot of stuff, but I've got nothing on Thomas. Thomas can shop. He put me to shame, but the temple was gorgeous breathtaking and we even got to see a ceremony inside the temple now you can't film inside but it was just spectacular it I, I can't even describe it like they have like the drums and like the humming and singing and you can feel like the the reverb like the vibration within your body it is it was a really really special experience like that was that was very 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 cool but after that we went over to I know I'm gonna mess this up because I always forget how it's pronounced Don Quijito. That's not it. I can see the spelling in my in my head and I cannot remember how it's how it's actually said. I don't know, maybe it'll come to me. But we went over there. There was like a mega donkey one. So I got some stuff there. And then we went basically back to the mall and went to the supermarket there as well as like a bread store. But at the bread store, he told me I have to get this bread. He's like, you're gonna regret that you only got a half loaf. It's that good. But I was like, we don't eat that much bread so i just got me and chip like a half loaf of bread he said they don't use egg in this so he's like it's very very fluffy oh we also stopped at a souvenir shop so on the way down where it has all like the little mom and pop stores as well as like there was this place where they were slicing up the eel um there's like two places like that where they cut the eel like right in front of you at the souvenir shop i ended up getting um two things of chopsticks and the chopsticks i got have um i think it's called a, a durama oh gosh I, I my brain is just farting but it's one of these so the chopsticks kind of have like a design similar to these and then i'm gonna give this as a gift now these are cool because like they never knock over they always like sit sit back back straight but also what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to color in one of the eyes and then make a wish. And then once the wish comes true and it's granted, then you'll color in and like draw in the other eyes. Oh, I got my nieces. I got them these cute little coin purses. One of my niece's favorite color is pink and the other one is blue. So I got them these adorable little coin purses. So that was everything I got at the little souvenir shop. And then this was everything I got at the Mega Donkey. I don't know if I'm allowed to open this or not open it. It was like tax free. So I'm not, I'm not really sure, but once I get home, I'll kind of like show everything that I picked up. So this was everything I got at Don Quixote. So almost all of it is gifts, but I got some high chews. I also picked up this um, strawberry latte. I feel like my sister's really gonna like this. I also got some sake flavored Kit Kats. So this one looks like it's regular sake, but this one has like peaches, so I don't know. It says ume, I don't know what ume is. So maybe that's like some kind of like peach. I also got my nieces like little face masks. They're like teenagers, so they're getting in the age where they really love this and like makeup and nails and all that stuff. And then I got my nephew like this pack of trucks. He is obsessed with like monster trucks and cars like this. And like for Christmas, I got him this like table that has like kind of like Legos and then you can like flip it over and it has like a racetrack on the other side. So I feel like that's cool. And then these I got for myself. I might give some of them to my nieces just because I have like so many nails, but I could not resist. I think they were only like 1800 yen. Um, so super affordable, but they all have like super cool 3D designs on them. Like look at these little butterflies like all of them are so pretty and I love the bows this one's probably my favorite either this one or this one with these little bows and then I'll probably use like my glamnetic nail glue um, to glue these on just so they'll last longer but I thought they were super cool but also I ended up picking up these and I think these are like similar to the buns that I got last time. Um, I used Google Translate, like just took a picture and it says these have custard inside. And then these ones had, oh, these were chocolate. So these have chocolate inside. The next two things I got outside after I finished at the supermarket, there's like a little beauty section out there. And I had asked you guys on this layover if you had ever done gua sha, if you know anything of it, did it work for you, did it not? Because I had just seen incredible results, but I didn't know if like people were actually getting like facial fillers or Botox or what they were doing. And so many of you guys said, no, it works, it works great. So I've been looking for like a gua sha 
little thing. So I saw one and I ended up picking that up. Then I also picked up this. Now I don't know if this is supposed to work or not work, but but it sold me. Um, it was right next to this and it says it helps lift your, your smile lines, which I just got, I got chubby cheeks. Like some of y'all have left me some hate comments that said I look like Jigsaw from, <laughs> that says I look like Jigsaw from Saul. I think it's just cause I got some, some big old cheeks and then also like I have inflammation and then when you're flying, you swell and get real puffy. So it just makes it worse sometimes when I'm on a layover, but it's like this little, this little beard strap. I'm trying not to laugh. I don't know how this thing is like supposed to, it's supposed to help your smile lines on the whole time I keep laughing. But if any circus has like a job opening for like a bearded woman in this economy, I might, <laughs> I might be applying. <laughs> So I don't know if it works or doesn't work. They also had one for your for your double chin. I don't know if this one sits under your chin or not. Hopefully it does, but I'm gonna be rocking this fake beard and see, see if it helps with my smile lines. Okay, in here is everything I got at the supermarket. So the first thing I picked up was some more um, green tea. Now this one is like a matcha green tea. And then I picked up these little strawberries look how cute they are they are literally baby strawberries just for a size reference i have a pack of like normal strawberries and i will show you and then i also grabbed this zero sugar peach monster so i figure i'm probably gonna have that on the plane i picked up this greek yogurt and it's like grape Bo told me last time that japan doesn't really do greek yogurt it's not like a big thing here so when i saw these i was like i have to see how it is i also picked up these which is like a seaweed salad like when i go to a sushi spot I love ordering seaweed salad. It's so good. I don't know if this is just like a regular salad or exactly exactly what it is, but it looked good and I'm so hungry. So that was already bad grocery shopping when I was hungry. I also picked up like this kind of like pasta salad. It looks like kind of like a, a seafood type of pasta salad or maybe it's just veggies. And then I picked up a sun gold kiwi. And I'm excited about that because I love kiwis and kiwis are like the number one superfood for you. Like when they say superfood, they really just need to be talking about kiwis because kiwis are so impressive. If you don't know, go look it up because it's actually like incredible like what kiwis um, can do. I also grabbed these. There's like two of them in here. I don't know what it is. I'll be completely honest. I have absolutely no idea. I'm not sure what this is either. I don't know if that's like shrimp inside or if it's going to be like a, a veggie roll. And then I got a little thing of chicken katsu. They had um, bigger ones of this, but I just kind of wanted like a little, little sampler because I just wanted to like try a bunch of stuff. And then I got these strawberries and these smell incredible but just for a reference so you can see like how little and cute these are this is like a normal size strawberry and these are like little little teensy baby strawberries and then i got some sashimi as well as i grabbed this thing of salmon nigiri which looks good salmon is my favorite and then i grabbed this chicken skewer with like vegetables and then last but not least i got um some gum look how good this looks i'm so hungry i also decided i'm gonna go ahead and try some of this as well i had chopsticks in my bag so i'm gonna just use these y'all i am so excited my mouth is watering i'm gonna try it without any soy sauce or anything i'm gonna go with this one Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So good. Okay, I'm gonna open this to try it out. Mm hmm. If you've ever been to like a Hawaiian restaurant and get like that macaroni salad, this is exactly what it tastes like, but with spaghetti noodles instead. Really good. Really good. Okay, so we have an hour until pickup. I was like trying to lay down and rest, but I just could not sleep. I was like, no. I'm hoping I'll end up being on, on first break, but also I kind of figured I would be on first break. And I, I hope by doing that, I'm not making a mistake because normally 
people like to choose third break but my only concern is is because we were three hours delayed i don't know if that's gonna change which break people want basically everything is packed now outside of the stuff that's in the fridge i did pack it just to kind of like place it to know where it was gonna go but then i put it back in the fridge because we had like an hour and i didn't bring any um cooler packs with me so so i wanted to stay cold as long as possible but i'm just like touching up my makeup right now it's probably gonna look real real dry and crusty <laughs> crusty by the end of today and i'm sure my skin is gonna be hating me but sometimes you just gotta you gotta do with what you gotta do <laughs>